The journey of a girl starts at birth. We're born into a world that makes us warriors. Our first memories as we navigate our lives is sacrifice. Her story is about the connection and bridging the gap between sisterhood. Her story for me is knowing that femininity is not weakness. To get to a point where being a female director or being a female editor or being a female anything in this industry is no different to being a male. I think now is like a really amazing time in human history. It's a watershed moment, it's very powerful, it's very painful, but there's like a lot of glimmers of hope. Everyone talking about equality, racial equality and equality for women and equity. You know, those topics now, I think, are easier to discuss than they've ever been before, and people are taking them seriously. It's a very key part of the Her Story movement is that you have all of these women of color in their various communities creating projects and programs that are solving problems, but haven't really received visibility in terms of what they're doing and haven't really received either the funding or the backing that they need. We start to notice that boys have more opportunities to be leaders. But that won't stop us. Our journey for equality and representation is never ending. Her story is a celebration of that journey and spans continents and shared experiences. You don't see a lot of black women in power who want to get into these tough spaces, especially philanthropy. We are literally one of the only foundations in the United States, particularly that has a focus on art therapy that was founded by a black woman, me. I feel the pressure of that, but I also feel the pressure of not being supported by the government, by these financial institutions that are giving out these huge grants to organizations that are founded by my white male counterparts. Average girl in South Sudan is going through poverty. She gets married at the age of 12, sometimes even younger. So we created this organization to provide these girls with an opportunity. When we started Tuale in 2012, child marriage was still legal and it was one of the main aspects that we started Tuale. I myself am a survivor of rape. I think these programs were born from anger, I would say, because I didn't hear anybody talking about rape and I had faced a lot of like victim blaming. Art therapy, skills training, empowerment, um, and just uplifting them so that their narratives can turn from survivors or victims to artists, overcomers. Since we've existed, We've been able to serve all of those communities and we've been able to serve over 3,000 survivors of human trafficking and at-risk youth globally. To be part of her story is to be connected, to finally feel heard and seen and loved. We want to help and we want to help the next generation. Her story for me is collaborating with people who I, you know, appreciate and who understand each other. The relevance of who we are as women in the world actually matters. Whereas sometimes I felt like, for me personally, it, it was just always, like you say, an uphill battle just to be, to seek representation, to be, to be a representation and also to be a voice. Even as, as a trans woman speaking about trans women's issues, it's a woman's issue not even just trans women, it's about all women. Our experiences are usually the most undocumented, unreported, and undiscussed. Our story is our story. Sharing love, sharing respect, sharing our stories is what's gonna make us grow. It's, it's what is going to educate people, and that's what the story is doing. I know some don't believe that the change is going to happen. The change is here, the change is now. The change is her story. We are African. We are Asian. We are Muslim. We are transgender. We are Hispanic. And Latinx. We are every woman and girl in the world. We are here to represent and we are here to support one another. And we matter. And we matter. And we matter.
and we matter. Welcome to Her Story by Beauty for Freedom.